but a lot of people have had questions about how to service the high pressure fuel filter on the Civic GX. On these, you're supposed to replace the filter on them. Um, this is a 2001. You're supposed to replace a high pressure filter every 10,000 miles. That's pretty frequently. And then the low pressure filter, you're supposed to replace that every 30,000 miles. So the way you do this, um, there's a little frame with a guard that goes where the regular gas tank would go. There's two bolts on the back side, and then there's a bolt each that go into your unibody. Well, I gotta figure out something to do with this light. I don't have enough hands. I need like some kind of Hindu god six-handed thing, and then that would be awesome. This is working though. Okay, so you pull out a bolt from each of these sides, and you pull that assembly down. The other thing you want to do is you want to turn this valve. If you have it turned this way, um, it's the way that it is when the car is running. You want to turn it to 90 degrees perpendicular to the line, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to run the car out of fuel. What that does is it runs all the fuel out of the system to uh, depressurize it, and then that allows you to be able to service the filter. Where the filter is located is right here, and as it says here, caution, don't service it until you uh, depressurize it. So running the car runs out of gas, runs out all the pressure, it gets it down to reasonable levels that you can deal with. The next thing you want to do is you want to pull the, the drain for the water or oil or whatever that gets into it. And that is, and I hope I'm aiming at this because I really can't tell with the way I've got this light set up. But what you want to do is you want to take a six millimeter Allen and you want to unscrew this. And as you pull that out, it'll let out any kind of water, residual pressure, etc., etc., and you'll be in good shape as far as that goes. Um, then put it back in. Watch the O-ring, make sure that it seats properly. Um, if you don't run the vehicle out of gas and you pull this first, it'll spit the O-ring out. It'll go pop and it'll hiss and just it's kind of scary I guess you would say um, but once you've done that you can take this off you put a big wrench on here and uh, break it free and then go ahead and proceed to unscrew it once you do that you'll be able to get to the high pressure filter when you look at it on the outside it can look really clean but if you look at the lines and the way that this goes just give it a little twist twisteroo back and forth and slide it down off the line and I don't know if you can see into this one but it's got some oil at the bottom of it it's got some contamination on the inside the way that it works is that boy I wish I could see this I had to edit splice this thing into two videos I accidentally hit the power button while I was trying to make do here so uh, the pressure comes in through this side and then it goes into this hose, it goes through the inside of the filter, that's where all the contamination from the tank gathers. And then once it goes out of the filter, then it goes in through this little port right here. And then that line goes up to the front of the car. So crud goes into the inside of here and then out through the outside. And that's how it is. So. When you look at the filter from here, you can see what kind of crud or whatever's in it. When you look from the outside, they'll always look pretty clean. They'll always look pretty nice. So, take your new filter. Um, a lot of things I like to oil it or do something with it to help it to go on smoothly. With these, you don't want to do that because that equals contamination. You don't want any oil or water. Those are the two enemies to the whole thing here. So I don't know why it has a number six on it, but they do. So you take that, you inspect your O-ring, make sure your O-ring's intact and that it's in good shape. And you go ahead and uh, put this back on. Tighten this up first so that it's good and snug. And then after you've got it good and tight, then go back and tighten this one. Don't forget or you're going to leak. If you're going to do this yourself, make sure that you do it right, do it good. Um, kind of hesitate to make a video on this because it's high pressure stuff. I mean, it's 3600 PSI, it says, and so I don't want any of the liability 
you know, everybody's chicken because of being sued. And that kind of pisses me off. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. Um, you're going to have to do it at your own risk. Legal disclaimer. You know, don't do it unless you're willing to accept full liability, responsibility, whatever. But this is how you do it. The reason why I'm putting it on is nobody else has a video on how to do this. And I'm like, dude, you know, how are people supposed to learn or do it if there's nobody willing to teach? And everybody that knows and isn't afraid of it anymore, they're making bank off of it. So, because it's scary you dealing with something with that much pressure. But if you do it in the right order, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that scary. Here's the location of those other bolts, by the way, for the mounting frame. There's also screws and clips and things that'll go out here and some other locations, but somebody's already ripped them off, so I don't know what to tell you. That's how you do it. Hope this was helpful to you. I'm sure it was. Um, again, don't do it unless you're willing to accept full responsibility for, you know, whatever happens. <laughs> But basically the most important thing is to turn the valve off first, run the vehicle out of um, gas, basically run it till it dies, and then open that uh, valve, that little uh, six millimeter Allen bolt at the bottom of the filter, this one. And then after you do that, then take that off. And so that's how you do it. Good luck, be sure to rate, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. I am not a CNG master. I don't claim to be. I know how to do this filter service and a few other little things, so I just wanted to share that.